74 years old Chris Cape Hart is a remarkable magician. He's been performing street magic and shows since the age of 20. In this video, we will witness his latest trick that will blow your mind. Also, we will uncover the secret behind this incredible card trick. If you enjoy the video, please support us by liking it. In this act, Chris invites both judges, Penn and Teller, onto the stage. Chris first hands Teller a bag and Penn a deck of cards. Now, Chris asks Teller to choose any number between 1 and 4. Teller chooses the number 3. Similarly, Chris asks Penn to choose any number between 1 and 4. Penn chooses the number 2. Now, Chris asks Penn how he would like to arrange these two numbers, 23 or 32. Penn chooses 23. Uh, 23 or 32? 23. All of these choices are free choices, but what happens next leaves everyone astonished. Now, Chris asks Penn to count out 23 cards from the deck given to him and place them face up, and then to place the 24th card to the side. Then, Chris asks Teller to open the bag given to him at the beginning. Inside, there is a shoe, and inside it, there is a seven of hearts card. Now, Chris asks Penn to see the card he placed to the side. Remarkably, it is also the seven of hearts card. After this, Chris sets up another act where he places four king cards of different suits on the table. Chris mentions that he has four queen cards left in his hand, which could be anywhere in the deck. Then Chris starts a countdown from 10 and asks Penn to say stop wherever he likes. Penn stops at a number and Chris counts out that many cards and places the top card on top of the king. It could be at 10, just say stop. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Stop. Four. You think the queen is at four. One, two, three, four. Chris repeats this, and this time, Penn stops at nine. Chris counts out that many cards and places the ninth card on top of the king again. Now, Chris asks Teller to say stop and begins a countdown from 10. Teller stops at 9, and Chris counts out that many cards, placing the ninth card on top of the king. One last time, Chris starts the countdown, and this time Teller stops at 2. Chris counts out that many cards and places the second card on top of the last king. After this, Chris is left with four cards in his hand. Chris mentions that he had no idea which card was where and that Penn and Teller chose their stops randomly. Now, Chris reveals all the top cards, and astonishingly, they are all aces. This ace. And how you explain this ace? But that's not all. Chris reveals all the cards placed on top of the king cards, and remarkably, they are all queen cards. Moreover, Chris reveals the four remaining cards in his hand, which have Master of the Minds written on them. Not only that, but Chris also reveals the remaining unrevealed cards. And to everyone's surprise, they are all completely blank. But how? How does the card placed in the bag match the card placed in the deck at the exact number randomly chosen by Penn and Teller? How do random cards turn out to be queen and ace without any sleight of hand? And how are all the remaining cards blank? The amazing thing is, you too can perform this magic without any skill, and we will tell you how. But before that, if you enjoyed this incredible magic act by Chris Capehart, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more magic reveal videos. Now, let's find out the secret behind this magic. This magic is amazing to see. Also, it is very simple to do because it is a self-working magic trick. And that's why we told you that you can do it effortlessly without any skill. In the first act, Chris gives Teller a bag containing a pre-placed seven of hearts card. Now, Let's see how the deck Chris gave to Penn contains the Seven of Hearts card at the exact chosen number. Chris asks Penn and Teller to choose any number between 1 and 4. Teller chooses 3 and Penn chooses 2, combining these two digits to choose 23. Now, let's talk about the arrangement of this deck, which is the main thing in this act. Actually, this deck is arranged in the following way. It contains 52 cards plus 2 jokers and 1 extra Seven of Hearts card totaling 55 cards. At the top are the two jokers, as you can also see when Penn is placing the cards below. Then there are some random cards, and at the 24th position, there is a seven of hearts card. 
After that, there are more random cards, and at the 44th position, there is another 7 of hearts card placed. You just need to set up this much, and now you're ready to perform this trick. In this case, Pen combined both digits to choose 23. So if you count from here, after placing 23 cards down, the 24th card will indeed be the 7 of hearts. If Pen had chosen 32 instead of 23, Chris would have instructed Pen to count from here, and 32nd card would be the 7 of hearts. Similarly, between the choices of 1 and 4, there are a total of 16 scenarios. For each combination, the magician needs to take appropriate actions, as shown here. Chris would have followed the next step according to the chosen combination. For example, if the selection is 43, after counting 43 cards from this side, the next card would be the 7 of hearts. Similarly, if the chosen combination is 11, counting from the bottom of the deck and after placing 11 cards down, the next card would be the 7 of hearts. In this way, by simply remembering the actions according to these combinations, you can effortlessly perform this trick. Now let's move on to Chris Capehart's next act where he first places all four kings on the table. Then, by getting Penn and Teller to choose cards, he reveals something astonishing in the end. This, too, is a self-working card trick. The deck that Chris takes out from the box is specially arranged for this act. It contains a total of 52 cards, with four kings already placed on the table. Among the remaining cards, after nine blank cards, ace and queen cards of the same suit are placed at 10th and 11th positions simultaneously. Then, again, nine blank cards, followed by ace and queen. This pattern repeats until the bottom four cards, on which Master of the Mind is written. Showing this deck, Chris says that the queen cards could be anywhere in this deck, which Penn and Teller will pull out. Then Chris starts the countdown of the cards, and Penn says, stop at four. After this, Chris places the first, second, third card here, and fourth card on top of the king. And as you can see, the card that automatically lands on top of the king is the queen card. Also, the top card here is the ace card. Similarly, Chris counts again, and this time Penn says, stop at nine. After this, Chris places the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth cards here and the ninth card on top of the king. And as you can see, the ace card automatically lands here, and the queen card lands on top of the king. Now it's Teller's turn, and Teller says, stop at nine. Chris places the ninth card here and all the cards before it here. And again, you can see that the ace and queen cards automatically land here. One last time, Teller says stop at two, and Chris places the first card here and the second card on top of the king, and automatically, the ace card lands here, and the queen card lands on top of the king. In the end, as he reveals, it surprises everyone. As you can see, the remaining four cards are the ones with Master of the Mind written on them, and all the remaining cards here are blank cards, which again surprises everyone. But now you know the secret behind this amazing magic. We work hard to bring you such amazing magic reveal videos, so please make sure to like the video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to receive notifications for all upcoming videos.